hello and welcome to WPLMS tutorials in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can use WPLMS to set up your own code academy or code teaching platform with self evaluating quizzes uh, for code snippets and problems so let's see how this works so for this we are using a platform called as sphere engine and you can learn more about sphere engine on their website sphere-engine.com you will need to create a account on their site and you cannot use any generic email ids like gmail.com to create an account on their website so once you have created the account so here i'm using test at the wplms.io once you have created the account we you directly need to go to the api tokens and this is the data which we'll need to enter in our plugin which is the wplms sphere engine plugin so once you have installed and activated this plugin you can now go to lms settings and here you'll see a sphere engine now here we have the widget hash id compilers token compilers endpoint and let's just compare this with what we have on sphere engine so compiler api endpoint we enter the compiler api endpoint here compiler api address we enter the api address here then we have the compilers token then we enter the token here same way we do this for the problems api and we enter the problem token api endpoint and the api address here for the widget hash id we for this we go to the compilers widgets and here you can see we have the widgets you can copy directly and place it here so once you have saved all these settings now if you go to your wplms installation in the course builder so let's edit any course and here in the curriculum we can create a new unit and here you will see the sphere engine label we click on this and it's going to show the specific uh, sphere engine specific details here so here you can write and here you can select a compiler if you do not select any compiler then the user will get the option to select the compiler to compile his code and ch check for errors otherwise you can select a compiler so here we can select say php and add the unit so here you can see we have our code unit and let's just add a problem in the final quiz And we're going to edit this and in the so this is a dynamic quiz so let's so let's add a code quiz <coughs> and here in the create question You will see the sphere engine logo and on click of it is going to show the details and you can write the question statement and here is the main part which is the sphere engine part so here we will create a problem so this is the problem name which is for reference and we can say php echo so echo whatever the input is so this is the very small problem so whatever the input is needs to be outputted 
and we can select the compiler here so now once the problem is uh, created you will see the test cases and here we'll need to enter a test case for example user enters one and the output has to be one and you can select the uh, these judges which is the which is by default defined in sphere engine so here we have created a test case <coughs> so note that each of these test cases will have equal weightage depending on the problem so the users uh, code will get the input value and the code should output the uh, output value to be able to pass the test and make sure you create these tests very carefully because you cannot remove or delete a test you can only activate or deactivate it so here i have changed the description a little bit and we have written the description of the problem and here we have created the input and the output so now we are going to create another test case so the input is going to be 10 and the output is going to be 55 so next we create the question we can write some hint and some uh, explanation and then we can create the question and let's enter some marks so the marks for this particular question will be based on the number of test cases which are successfully passed by the users program and let's add this quiz so here we have the code quiz so now let's go to the enrolled courses and see what a student will see so we go to the software training reloaded course <coughs> and here you can see our compiler has appeared in the unit called code and here the user can write some some code and test the code with input and output so this is for the units and you can run the code you can choose the compiler so the compiler which was selected by the instructor comes as pre-selected so here just to show as an example I have written the Fibonacci uh, code in PHP and to capture the input the user will need to capture from the stdin stream and we are capturing the input here and which means that we are capturing whatever value is being entered in this tab and this needs to go in your code to show the fibonacci series and here we can change the input and run so here you can see we get the output and we can do a slight change and compare so first six values of the fibonacci series are this and if we say okay 15 uh, fibonacci first 15 values of the fibonacci series so here we get the values in in the fibonacci series so let's go to the quiz now so here we are at the code quiz and when we start the quiz our 
code question will load and here we need to calculate the sum of all numbers given below the number another catch is that you need to enter the PHP if you are writing code in PHP make sure you select the PHP version or whatever relevant details which are required for the uh, problem and let's submit this problem solution so here you can see that we got two tests passed and one test failed uh, in this uh, program that we submitted hence we got 6.67 marks now as a instructor as is as a administrator you can locate this particular submission and see what happened so for this you need to go to the problems section if you go to the dashboard and in the problems editor you will see the problems you have created you and the instructors have created in your site <coughs> and we can simply check whatever submissions are there in this so when we go to the submissions here you can see that there are three submissions and only one is accepted for this particular problem and you can see the report of this particular submission so there are two correct answers and one wrong answer based on the test cases which have been created <coughs> hence the user got these many marks so important point is that the user will need to submit his submission to get the marks and there is certain memory uh, which is being consumed by the program that you are running so here you can see it is taking approximately 50 MB of uh, sphere engines memory to execute this particular program and the student can then submit the quiz even if the student does not submit the quiz the marks are already recorded and auto submission will record this answer and here the marks are recorded and on retaking of this quiz the submission on retaking of the quiz the submission is also removed from this console and the user can reattempt the quiz just like regular quizzes in WPLMS so that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching